Travis Kettlin with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside David Aldridge. And a moment now to check out who the Warriors have coming up on their schedule. On Sunday, they'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Tuesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And that game against Houston, it's a good checkpoint to see how they fare. It's the fifth contest on the year for them and a chance to evaluate where they stand. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Up front, it's Green at the four with Jackson Davis at the five. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Kaminga in at the small forward. And for Utah, the guard pair. It's George and Sexton. Markinen is out there with Walker Kessler. And it's Hendricks in at the small forward position. Here we are early in the NBA season and teams focus on situational awareness. Doris, what have you noticed so far this season? Yeah, Kev, these situations are really all about execution, right? Are players poised in late clock situations? First of all, do they recognize where the shot clock is? Can they adeptly and quickly read defenses? So those are some of the things I'm watching for. Pass to Markinen. Trying to find Jackson Davis and gets it to him. Outside Curry. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? Uh, there could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially blatant on drives to the rim. And the first one at the line is good. You know, when you talk about this Jazz team, Doris, you have to mention head coach Will Hardy. You certainly do, Kevin, because remember, he came from the Boston Celtics organization. He also had a history in San Antonio. He is known as an excellent tactician. He does an incredible job scouting. Utah always one of the best prepared teams in the league. Stephen Curry hits them both. And now we're being joined by our 2K insider, Shams Charania, who's calling in with a good story. Shams, what do you have? Thanks. Well, for the Warriors this summer, there was disappointment seeing their longtime trio broken up with the departure of Clay Thompson. But many around the league felt like with the additions they've made, this team is actually upgraded. So, guys, we'll see how they hold up in this crowded Western Conference. Do Steph Curry and Draymond Green have enough? They'll be challenged for certain. Okay, Shams, thank you for the report. Jackson Davis can't get it to go. Last outing for Golden State. They won that game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Pass to Hendricks. Now, here's Markinen. Right wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Sexton. No good. Wiggins with some nice D. Over in the corner, Kaminga. Trains the three-pointer. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It's all about mindset out of the gate. If you're aggressive and they give you room, go ahead. Let it fly. Pass to Kessler. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Here's Jackson Davis. Rebound, Utah. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And here we go. The first in what will be a three-game season series between the two teams. You know, right out of the gates, one team gets a lead with the head-to-head -head advantage, bragging rights, if you will, over the other. And tonight, it starts. Back to Curry. And oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Keontae George picks one up. I'll tell you, with his rapid-fire release, defenders are forced to leave their feet when Curry rises to shoot, and that's why the pump fake serves him so well. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he makes the first. Well, Greg, over the last few seasons, one area of consistency for the Jazz has been their rebounding. Yeah, and they have some size 
and they make controlling the boards a focal point. When you're playing Utah, you better be ready to put a body on somebody. And so he makes both from the line. Greg, since reaching five consecutive NBA Finals, the Warriors have missed the playoffs three of the past five years. And to be fair, uh, they did go 46 and 36 last season. They were 10 games over 500 last year. So they weren't a bad team, but Golden State doesn't just expect to be in the play in, they want to be a contender. DB, one thing about Kessler, he will challenge anybody at the rim. Wow. There's no question, Kevin Walker. Take Kessler is one of those guys who's not afraid Two to get shots. dunked on. He is a rim protector of the highest order. He's going to win some. He's going to lose some. But he's always going to try to do his job. That's good from Kessler. I think one of the impressive things about the young Walker Kessler is you know what you're going to get night by night. Great shot blocking and consistent rebounding and defense. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And to me, Draymond Green really embodies the idea of a high IQ player. He can read the opposition, predict where a play is going, and those instincts aren't something that can be easily taught to anyone. Sexton's shot is good. And Colin Sexton is a scorer. Doesn't matter if he's on the interior. This guy is determined to capitalize. Curry passes to Green. Now Jackson Davis. He's covered by Kessler. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And here's George for three. Good on the triple. George has got five. And developing that three ball shot, George is putting in the work now. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Talked to Will Hardy a little while ago. We discussed Steph Curry, of course, and what he advised his team to do against him. Coach said, I told her guys that we have to be right up on him to fight over screens and not allow him to feel comfortable out there. A huge task for any defense, and we'll see if this one is up to the challenge. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Curry against George. Curry deciding where to go with it. Trills the three-pointer. Nine points in the game so far. That's a play that Stephen Curry relies on, and for good reason, right? The ball handler and pick and roll, excellent decision maker, can manipulate the defense. Go to work, Steph. We like watching. Kessler passes to George. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. They get Stephen Curry. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. The Jazz have converted one of two free throws so far today. Take a break. And one Take of the break. highlights last year Two's for up. this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. No good on the free throw. Name a type of shot. Keontae George can hit it. More than capable of scoring at all three levels. And the second free throw, good. The Warriors trail. Higgins outside. There's a screen to the paint. Here's Curry, and he makes good on the layup. Curry's got 11. Curry understands how to take a hit, prepares for it, and makes the necessary adjustment. Sexton kicks to Markinen. Back to Sexton. Elbow shot is on the way. Jump shot is good. Boy, he's heating up fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. Pass to Jackson Davis. Golden State moving the ball around. Up top, Curry. Defended by George. 
fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. You know, Greg, thinking back to the glory days in Utah, they went to back-to-back -back finals in 97 and 98. Unfortunately, though, Kevin, that, that Stockton Malone era, they just couldn't overcome the dynastic Bulls. The, the Jazz still searching for that first NBA title. Free throw good by Curry. And you know with Curry, what impresses me most is his efficiency. That's not something we normally see in a high-volume jump shoot. Outside, Sexton. Good on the three-point shot. He's got 11. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Wiggins surveying the floor. Curry can't get it to go. Utah leading. Outside, Sexton. Bobbed up there for Collins. It's going by heel. Kaminga against Collins. Wiggins passes to heel. From past the arc. The shot by Curry. No good. Utah has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Markinen finds Collins. And no good. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Markson against Wiggins. Pass to Jackson Davis. Kaminga dishes to Curl. Back to Kaminga. Here's Heald. The 11-footer. And again, no good by Golden State. Marking in against Curry. Marking in kicks to Collins. To the middle. Out to Clarkson. They get it back. Right side, Sexton. Collins setting the pick for Sexton. Another shot. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. The Warriors have not yet missed a free throw. Five for five. That one misses for Jackson Davis. Jazz have gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. Outside, Markinen. Outside, Sexton. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, Colin Sexton showing you right there. He's got strength to play through contact and a whistle. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Jazz? Oh, oh man, how about the mid-range jumper from these guys? It's on tonight, a huge part of their offense so far. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Hey, DB, what do you make of Colin Sexton's nickname, Young Bull? Hey, uh, Kevin, I think it's a very apt moniker because this guy is relentless. He attacks you with his defense. He's going to come at you with a ton of youthful energy, and he will not back down. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And let's take a look at Steph Curry's numbers. Great showing for him last season. And he ranked in the top 15 in points per game, one of the league's premier offensive threats. And back to his free throw shooting percentage, second in the league, I never saw lapses in his concentration at all. Always completely focused, completely automatic. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Eubanks comes in for Walker Kessler. And it's Williams in for Lowry Markinen. And then for Golden State, Kevon Looney is checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. Pajemski's coming in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Curry. 
Clarkson against Melton. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now Sexton. He's got 14. Free throw line jump shot. Warriors with the rebound. Kaminga's got four rebounds now tonight. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Buddy Heald so active on the offensive end, finds the defense in a compromised position and gets what he's looking for. throw drops for heel we will look back on buddy heels career and marvel at the consistent three-point shooting he provided no matter what team he played for and utah making a change here Hendricks is checked in raymond green he's checked in for the warriors that one is no good for a guy with the shot mechanics of Buddy Heald, you'd love to see him get to the free throw line more, but it's really not his game. He is just a dead-eye three-point shooter. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now, you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Stolen by Collins. And they're on the break. Hendricks, good. And now it's a three-point jazz lead. Well, the awareness of John Collins to understand my teammates open, let me find him. Pass to Pajemski. And here's Melton. Green with the ball. Hit by Kaminga. Green in the high post. Working on Collins. Jazz leading by three. Outside Williams. It's Sexton on top of the key. Clarkson against Melton. Here's Hendricks. Not three off the mark. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Melton passes to Green. Right side, Kaminga. Pass to Melton. Inside, Green, and it's Green with the jam. Well, Draymond Green and the screen and roll as the roll man is a dangerous option because of his strength. Outside, Williams. Fifty-eight seconds left here in the opening quarter. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Heal. Floats it up for Kaminga. Stolen by Clarkson. Here's Williams. Pachemski grabs the board. The Warriors have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. So it'll be Jonathan Kaminga shooting. It's on Jordan Clarkson. The Warriors have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. And Curry's subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. We've got 33 seconds left in the first. to Collins. Outside, Markinen. Collins setting the pick for Markinen. Fires the three. That shot, no good. The Warriors leading to the inside. Kaminga kicks it to Looney. Here's Curry. He's covered by Clarkson. And it's Pajemski in the corner. 
At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Warriors lead by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They haven't been afraid of getting hit on the way up, marching their way to the line and capitalizing. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Greg, you know this. Good coaches give their players confidence. But what's the balance there between affirmation and accountability? Well, when you believe in a player, that also comes with expectations. So a coach has to boost them up and also demand that they deliver. Howie Markinen is out there with Collins. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it sends a ball in at the two. That's the group right now for Utah. Pass to Clarkson. There's a screen by Collins. Fires from deep. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Warriors leading by five. Pajemski finds Looney. Up top, Curry. All sorts of time. Rebound, Utah. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Picks it out to Markinen. Pass to Sensabaugh. Down low. Clarkson outside. Off target with his three. Last outing for Golden State. They won that game against the Portland Trailblazers. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, thank you. The Utah Jazz last season became one of the first teams in the league to move their games to broadcast television. It's a gamble, but they just about tripled their reach. And with the rapid growth in the region, they have a chance to attract new fans. And Kevin, no doubt, other NBA teams are keen to see how this goes. Oh, David, no question at all. And we thank you for your report. One of the most special players offensively in the history of the game, Stephen Curry, cooking right now. Clarkson looking for an opening. Green against Markinen. Here's Hendricks. Good D by Heal. Pass to Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. How good is Green at drawing solid contact? He plays with a ton of heart. He's really good at making the defense commit. The Warriors have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Free throw good, Green. Well, to me, the infectiousness with which Draymond Green plays, it impacts everyone around him. I love that. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And hadn't had great success at the line, but Green certainly works on his game from there. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that sends Jordan Clarkson to the free throw line. They get Stephen Curry. For Utah, they have shot three of five at the foul line. Sometimes, guys, you need someone on your team who understands my job is to be aggressive, whether I have it going or whether I don't. And Jordan Clarkson is that guy. Virtually unstoppable. Curry gets through. 
And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Clarkson kicks to Markinen. Over Green. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. There's a lot to deal with when you're talking about marketing. This guy is skilled at seven feet, can put it on the deck. This guy's just a very difficult guy to guard. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Anderson, he's checked in for Looney. That free throw good from Markinen. The seventh pick in 2017, Lowry Markinen. Almost a throw in in that Donovan Mitchell trade. That's incredible to think of now in the context of this guy becoming an all star in his own right, Kevin. I mean, Markinen is a seven footer who's got efficient offensive numbers, like 50, 40, 90 type numbers. He is an uncommon talent. Well, we understand that Jordan Clarkson is strong enough to take contact and continue through to play. Nice aggressiveness. Pass to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Curry is inside. He's covered by Clarkson. The shot by Curry, no good. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Trailing by two. Shoots from the elbow. And that one comes up a bit short. Warriors have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. The basket counts, and one will go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. So both teams changing it up here. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Free throw drops for Heal. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Now here's Mills. Collins a screen on Curry. The drive by Clarkson. Healed against Williams. Outside for Curry. They double team Curry. Here's Pajemski, covered by Mills. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The Warriors have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. And Utah making a change here. Kessler's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Jackson Davis is checked in. Throw good, Pajemski. Jazz trail by eight. Clarkson with the ball. Five points in the game. Clarkson is screened on Anderson. Three-pointer, Markinen. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Pass to Curry. Inside, Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got his fifth rebound in this one. Clarkson with the ball. Williams looking around. Now here's Mills. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. And now just a two-point Warrior lead. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Outside Curry. 
pass to Jackson Davis. Six to shoot. Rebound collected by Clarkson. And there's a foul. It'll go on Trace Jackson Davis. That's foul number two for him. The Jazz have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Clarkson passes to Markinen. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And what I love about marketing, he takes care of the basketball. And that's a result of being patient, playing smart, and just generally getting his Shoot points two. within the flow of the offense. He's off on the first. And guys, Markinen, there's no question about his offensive talent. His skill set is the perfect match for the way the game is played today. And he's good on the second. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Anderson outside. To the paint. Pajemski's shot is good. Pajemski's got his second bucket of the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Outside, Markinen. Kessler setting the pick for Markinen. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Warriors leading by three. Here's Anderson. Excellent D there from Markinen. Utah's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Here's Kessler. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Anderson. Makes it off the glass. Now it's a five-point Warrior lead. Well, this is where Anderson has functioned for most of his career. So savvy on the interior. Mills finds Kessler. Back to Mills. Pass to Clarkson. Markinen against Anderson. Markinen, good. Well, Jordan Clarkson's improved his ability to run the offense. How about that pass, guys? And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. It's a three-point game. Here's Curry from deep three-point land. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got his sixth rebound on the night. And here's Mills. Pass to Clarkson. It's up a three. Offensive rebound. Kessler. That shot off the mark. Warriors leading by three. Outside Curry. Back to Anderson. Now Pajemski. The three-pointer no good. Now here's Mills. Covered by Heal. Here's Jackson Davis. Rips down the breakaway slam. Wow, Buddy Heald being opportunistic on the defensive end. Swiping that one away. And Will Hardy is called timeout. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations.
for the Jazz. Hendricks is checked in, and it's Sexton in for Patty Mills. Then for the Warriors, Green is checked in for Kyle Anderson. Kaminga comes in for Buddy Heal, and Wiggins is subbed in for Brandon Pajemski. Hendricks passes to Kessler. The Jazz working the ball around now. Bank shot, no good. Last outing for Utah, it was a loss to the Grizzlies. To the middle, stolen by Markinen. He takes it in. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That, folks, is what you call putting pressure on the defense. You love to see Markin and put it on the deck and draw the contact. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Obviously, we've seen Lowry Market and make a considerable leap. This guy goes from role player to all-star talent. Kevon Looney is checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. And Markkinen drops them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Wiggins dishes to Kerr. Pass to Green. The tray. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Green's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Warriors. And George kicks to Sexton. And stolen by Wiggins. Curry with it. Outside, Kaminga. Inside. It's picked off. Sexton against Green. Pass to Looney. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Is on Colin Sexton. The Warriors have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. First one falls for him. And so Looney nails both of them. Jazz trail by eight. George with the ball. And Curry picks him up defensively. Sexton deciding where to go with it. And that one, good. Sexton's got 16 points. Colin Sexton, early in his career, has demonstrated great instincts in the pick and roll. Good decision making. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, a couple of seasons ago, Steph Curry first brought out the night-night when he put a team away. Asked about his inspiration, he said, I have no idea. I don't choreograph any of that stuff. I was just having fun. You know how kids' bedtime routines are important? It's the final signal for job well done that day. Kevin? Well said. He is a one of one, D.A. George, no good. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Warriors. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Green with a screen on Markinen. Kaminga with a wide open look. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. On the wing, George. 
Back to Kessler. Over Curry. Kessler, no good. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? Kicks it out to Wiggins. And a miss there on the triple. The Jazz shooting at 46%, making some buttons. Arkanen can't get it to go. Warriors leading by eight. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Coming of the pass to Wiggins. No one near Curry as he lets it go. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. George with the bounce pass. Kessler passes to Hendricks. Here's Markinen. And it's in. Oh, wow. He nails the buzzer, Peter. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and I think we've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing field. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. Well, I think for the Warriors, you really get to see what they're made of after your hard work in the offseason. Yeah, you have big changes. And then you have subtle changes. Everything in preparation for this moment. And now revisiting that first half for Steph Curry, he was lights out. Curry's been giving the defense headaches all night. They're scrambling to contain him, but so far it just keeps finding his shot. And let's not forget his teammates helping to set him up time and time again. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Warriors leading by nine. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Up front, it's Green at the four with Jackson Davis at the five. Curry is out there with Wiggins. And it's Kaminga in at the three. Pass to Green. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Utah with the rebound. Kessler's got nine rebounds now tonight. Here's Hendricks. Headed by Green. And here's George. Shoots over Kaminga. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. To me, great offensive players have got to be able to draw contact and get to the free throw line. Keontae George does just that.
That one is off. Well, at six foot four, guys, Keontae George brings both length and athleticism to both guard positions, and you love that on the defensive end, he can guard multiple as well. And he sinks the second. Warriors leading by eight. Pass to Curry. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the Jams. Kessler's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. On the wing, Markkanen. Outside, Sexton. Drills it from outside. Sexton's got 19 points. And guys, for Colin Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. And it's sent back by Kessler. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Kessler. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Outside, Green. Wiggins against Sexton. Back to Green. Shot clock at five. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, make no mistake, Draymond Green will bully you on the interior if you allow it. You've got to make sure he doesn't force the issue. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Green. 90 seconds now into the second half. Pass to Kessler. Shoots over Jackson Davis. And it goes down two points. Defensive pressure simply not enough to deter Kessler in that instance. Curry against George. Here's Green. Stolen by Markinen. Curry against Sexton. Into the lane. Good for his ninth make in just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. Pass to Green. Shoots the three. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. Boy, you have to respect how aggressive Draymond Green is. If he's got the ball in his hands, he's ready to fire. Now, here's Sexton. This one for three. Over to the wing. Hendricks. The shot's good on the assist by George. Hendricks has got his second bucket of the night. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Curry against George. Green inside. Back to Curry. And stolen by Sexton. And now Utah, fast break. Outside, George. Green against Markinen. Green with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds in this game. Greg Cowan Sexton, still so young. He entered the league when he was just 19. Yeah, drafted back in 2018. Sexton has a few years left in his 20s, so you expect him to continue to expand his game and improve on both ends. Kessler is screen on Curry. Rocket six. George, no good. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Warriors. 
They've led by as many as 11 points. They host the Clippers after this game. They start a three-game homestand with that game. Well, really nice delivery from Andrew Wiggins. We know he's a gifted scorer, but that will really smooth out his game. Pass to Hendricks. And here's George, guarded by Kerr. Here's Markinen. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Markinen's got 15 points. Kaminga the pass to Wiggins. Back to Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. Well, the passing ability of Andrew Wiggins on display. And ask anyone, they'll tell you he's a great team guy. Now George. Seven points in the game. Outside, marking it. No good on the triple. Warriors leading by five. Wiggins in the post. Defended by Sexton. Wiggins finds Curry. Green with a screen on George. Here's Curry. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Clever move by Curry, taking the foul, but still getting the shot on. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Warriors? They've been running away from the defense all game. Take I mean, break. loads Take of break. points here Two off shots. the fast break, and the opposition just hasn't been able to adjust to that aggressive play style. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity, forcing turnovers, coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. So he gets them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Pass to Markinen. Outside, George. They set the pick. And he drives in. It's deflected. And here we go. Kaminga heading to the hoop. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Arkin in a screen on Kaminga. Outside, George. Three-pointer. Hangs home the trifecta. George has got ten points in the game. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Outside, Kaminga. Trying to find Jackson Davis and gets it to him. Curry can't get it to go. Jazz trail by six. And Sexton has it in the corner. Back to Markinen. the foul. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. But we know Markinen can face up and make shots, but I love when he mixes it up on the interior. That's really good touch. He's had five chances at the line, gone four for five. Clarkson, he's checked in for Keonti George. Pajemski, he's checked in for the Warriors. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Curry. Warriors leading by three. Kaminga the pass to Green. Floats it up for Kaminga. An emphatic LU jam. Well, Draymond Green is such an elite passer for his position. His head is on a swivel. To the inside. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. 
Well, Draymond Green is a smart, strong guy who is able to finish through contact. He's gone three for four from the line. The Jazz making a switch here. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Jazz trail by six. Outside, Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. From deep, the basket good off the assist from Sexton. Clarkson's got eight points. Well, give Jordan Clarkson a ton of credit. He has worked tirelessly on this shot. Now, Jackson Davis. Here's Melton. He has yet to score. Pajemski with it. Fires for three. Rebound, Utah. Kessler's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. The open look here for Sexton. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Green kicks to Melton. Green dishes to Kaminga. Kaminga sends a screen for Melton. Jacks up a three. Kessler with the rebound. Jazz trail by three. Here's Clarkson. And it falls over the rim and in. Clarkson's got five points in the quarter. Well, Jordan Clarkson came into the NBA as an aggressive scorer. And in the mid-range, he is as good as it gets. Pass to Melton. Kaminga screen on Sexton. A shot. Good as the jump shot falls. Seven points in the game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Clarkson passes to Kessler. And Kessler throws it down. Wow, Kessler punishing the rim on that finish. Outside, Green. Pass to Melton. Now, Green. Outside, Kaminga. Jackson Davis with it. He's covered by Kessler. Here's Melton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Jordan Clarkson. And he knocks down the first one. The Jazz making a switch here. Shibway's checked in. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Buddy Heald comes in for Green. Melton hits them both. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Utah. They trail by three. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. For the tie, here's Collins. Nice defense from Kaminga. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Driving inside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Utah has gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Pass to Shibwe. Clarkson against Heal. Five on the clock. With the teardrop. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to one in the bucket from Clarkson. Well, very difficult to guard the floater. Jordan Clarkson, nicely done. Clarkson against Melton. Here's Pajemski. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul.
Shooting two. Free throw good, Pajemski. And the Warriors with some changes. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Jonathan Kaminga. And Curry subbed in for DeAnthony Melt. And he can't hit the second. Utah trailing here. And here's the break. Here's Clarkson. Here's Markkinen, and he hits it to tie the game up. Markkinen's got seven points here in this quarter. This is what you hope. You want to see Markkinen mix it up on the glass, right? Keep the play alive. Make sure you convert. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. One misses for Pajemski. And when you look at John Collins' advanced numbers, Doris, they jump off the page. Yeah, probably the advanced numbers you're referencing, Kevin. Offensive rating, true shooting percentage. And when you look at it through that lens, Collins is absolutely able to score from a variety of spots on the floor, and the guy's an absolute terror on the glass. Now Pajemski. Ten points for him. Now here's Heald over Williams. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Cody Williams. Well, that's a smart play by Heald. He allows the defense to get close, won't back off his shot. Excellent job. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Take free throw break. shooting, not an area Two he shot. has worried about at all. How about last year, 88% from the line? Free throw drops for Heal. So after making the first, he goes one for two. You know, he couldn't make all of them, and they'll have to settle for just a one-point lead. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Golden State's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Nailed from three-point land. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. Off with the layup. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors ahead, leading by four. From the Delta Center, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball. We've got Williams. Collins is out there with Markinen. Then there's Jordan Clarkson, and it sends a ball in a two-guard. That's the group right now for Utah. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. We'll see Cody Williams go to the line here. That one is on heel. Thank you. 
That's good from Williams. Here's Pajemski. Pass to Looney. Anderson outside. Now Curry. Here's Pajemski. There's the screen. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Clarkson. Markinen finds Williams. Jazz passing it around. Here's Collins. Back to Markinen. Just five to shoot. Here's Williams. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Pass to Pajemski. Curry on the wing. Healed outside. Fires away from outside. Rebound, Utah. And here's Clarkson. Arkin in with it. Pass to Williams. Collins, a screen on heel. Down low to take the lead. Shot by Collins, no good. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three point play. Going to the line for one. Boy, you love the determination from slow mo right there. Kyle Anderson right through the contact. What's up? That one misses for Anderson. What I love about Kyle Anderson is he uses his size and length to his advantage. And he has to because he's not the most athletic guy. Oh, dynamic two-hand jam. Mm -hmm. And right in the face of the defender. Curry kicks it to Looney. Pass to Pajemski. The kick out to Anderson. That's a two from Heel. And the Warriors tack on two more. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Clarkson. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. They get Stephen Curry. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Mills, he's checked in for the Jazz. Then for the Warriors, Santos has checked in. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Brandon Pajemski. And it's tied up with that one. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Astro Looney. Now Kurt, covered by Mills. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Perhaps the last guy in the history of the NBA that you want to put at the free throw line. Stephen Curry will go down as one of the all-time great free throw shooters. Take a break. Take a break. And he makes the first. Boy, from the charity stripe, Stephen Curry will go down as one of the best to ever do it. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Golden State. Curry hits them both. 
just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Markin in against Anderson. Markin in passes to Mills. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Jazz lead by one. The sweet spot, the comfort zone for Patty Mills. Markin in against Anderson. Outside Curry. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Curry's got 27 points. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jams. Pass to Collins. Jazz passing it around. Here's Markinen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Kyle Anderson. Now I'll tell you, good physical play from Markin that right there puts the defense in a bad position and gets the whistle. The first free throw is good. Markinen drops him both. Milton with the ball. To the paint. Curry through traffic. Count it! Oh! Curry is in his bag. This guy has such a versatile offensive arsenal. Mills passes to Clarkson. The Jazz again can't hit it. Warriors have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Curry on the wing. Covered by Mills. And Patrick Mills gets that whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. A different look for Utah. Walker Kessler, he's checked in for Williams. Sexton comes in for Patty Mills. And it's Keontae George in for Clarkson. Then for the Warriors, Trace Jackson Davis is checked in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Kyle Anderson. And Andrew Wiggins is up in for DeAnthony Melton. Well, the superb concentration on display from Andrew Wiggins, defender in his grill, no problem. Collins against Kaminga. Outside, Sexton. Six on the shot clock. Back to Collins. A three ball. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Wiggins. The shot, no good. Nice D from Sexton. Left side, Collins. On the wing, George. Outside, Sexton. Off target from outside. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Hammers the alley-oop through. Well, healed an improving playmaker. The extra pass and sets his teammate up nicely. Outside, Cullen. Outside, George. Down low, and they get it, and Sexton slams it in. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Kaminga, no good. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. It's stolen by Kaminga. Wiggins against Sexton. Outside Curry. Wiggins has a screen for Curry. 
The 15-footer. Second chance shot. And it's Wiggins missing. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really tough. Collins. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Collins has got four points this quarter. John Collins has such a good feel for when to fire off the catch. Back to Curry. Stolen by George. Here's Collins. It's good. This game is all even. The efficiency has been the hallmark right now down the stretch. He is making the most of his opportunity. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. Clearly, he's got something his players need to hear. And immediately. And the Jazz making a change here. Hendricks has checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Green, he's checked in for Buddy Heal. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. Now Coach told his guys it's not over until it's over. He asked him to stay sharp out there and to keep fighting. If we lose this, it's on us, he said. Back to you guys. Okay, David, thanks. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Good from Green. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. A two point game. Outside, Sexton. Pass to Kessler. To take the lead. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got eight rebounds in this game. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. Jazz trail by five. Outside, Sexton. George looking over the floor. Pass to Markinen. A shot's good on the assist by George. George has got five assists in the game. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Curry kicks to Wiggins, launches it. A three-pointer is right on target. Wiggins has got six in the quarter. And how about that competitive spirit of Wiggins draining their revenge triple in style? On the wing, Markkanen. Guarded by Green. There's a good screen. Sexton for three. Sinks the triple. Sexton's got ten points in just the second half. Inside, there's Kaminga, and Kaminga throws it down. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Jazz trail by four. Outside, Sexton. Outside, Markinen. Nice ball movement by Utah. Just five on the clock. Here's Sexton. Wiggins with some nice D. Warriors leading by four on the wing. Wiggins. Outside Curry. Pass to Jackson Davis. To the inside. 
Here's Green. Green draws the double. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Jackson Davis. Rebound, Utah. Arkinen passes to Hendricks. Curry against George. Looking for Markinen. He gets it there. And stolen by Wiggins. Deflects the pass. There's Kuminga. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And that just may put the finishing touch on this one. Not at all a time to get sloppy with the ball. There's the lob to Markinen. One forty-four left in the fourth quarter of this one. And Wiggins throws it down hard. Andrew Wiggins should get a 10 for degree of difficulty. That was beautiful. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Now George. to Markinen. Over Green. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Markinen. Boy, Markinen looking really confident in the mid-range. We're accustomed to seeing him want the three-point shot, but take what the defense gives you. Curry on the drive. Higgins outside. From outside, off the mark. The Jazz shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shrugs off the contact and dunks it. He'll go to the free throw line. Wiggins watches the floor and sees a guy with a better look. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. And Will Hardy calls timeout here. He's clearly intent on wanting to lock in and make sure everyone's on the same page. There's 53 seconds left in the game. Sexton dishes to Markinen. George passes to Hendricks. Here's Markinen, guarded by Green. A second chance effort. Markinen can't get it to go. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. Pass to Curry. There's the pick. The three sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And the first one drops. He 
He hits both from the strike. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time, G.A., this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.